This is a T90A transmission, top shifted model. It's attached to the Model 18 transfer case. This is the way most of you will encounter them out in the wild. All right? When you find them in a junkyard, this is what it's going to look like. It's actually, this is the military version of it. It's got the screw on top with the screw out jacks in the front for the shift rails. Um, this is the premier model of shift tower that people are looking for because it comes out through the top and it's supposed to be waterproof, although that can be questionable. On the four cylinder version of the T90, which is gonna be the T90A, although just because it says T90A on the case does not mean it's a T90A. Lots of times people will swap gears from a T90J into a T90A and make it look just the same, except this shaft will be a different length. The shaft here is going to be seven inches, measuring from the face here to the end of the tip. That's the easy way to recognize a four-cylinder version. If you've got the V6 version or the one that's going to sit behind the straight six-cylinder, like the um, L226 engine, you're going to have a much larger input shaft or main gear. It's going to look like this one. Okay, and it's going to measure nine and a quarter inches from the front face out to the tip. This is a top shifted T90 transmission. It says T90A on the side, and almost all of them are going to say T90A. This is a side shifted T90 transmission. Again, you'll see it says T90A1 on the side, just like that one does. The only difference is on the side shifted T90, these two bosses here are machined out to accept the shift levers. Another difference is that on the front of the case there's actually an additional hole, this one is capped, that allowed the machinist to machine a boss inside the transmission for the shift detent balls to be able to ins be installed. These are the two cases I plan to use for the assembly portion of the rebuild video. A couple of reasons I'm planning to use them. First off, there's nothing wrong with them. They're in perfect condition, both of them. Second, the date codes. This one is a casting code. It was cast on 11-25-1947, and this one was cast in March of 1952. So that puts them closer to the date of my 46 CJ2A. This one, I believe, was originally a military transmission because the shift tower that was on it was the military style shift tower and the fill and drain plugs are the military style instead of the squared off type drain plugs that are used in the civilian versions. This land on the top right rear corner of the transmission case is stamped the assembly date for when the actual transmission was put together. This one, since this case was made in 1952, then it's going to be a 50s case. So it's on the side of it. Now this number is K222. The K stands for October. The 22 is the 22nd of the month. And the 2 stands for 1952.